You've seen the video title, you know what's up. I'm reviewing the Celestron NexYZ smartphone adapter. Uh, this is technically astrophotography, but it's so much more. This thing does a lot of stuff. Uh, I should say that this video is sponsored by Celestron, which is fantastic, and I have to thank them for their support. I got to see this product when I was over in LA and they put one in my hands and I was like, I need this. But at the time it wasn't released and it's been subsequently announced at NEIF. So when I saw this and I saw how engineered this was, it almost looks over-engineered. <laughs> but really what's happened is they've given a lot of thought to how this can be used in multiple different ways. So without further ado, let's unbox. Nobody reads the instructions. Okay, so I can see it's got a spring-loaded mechanism here, so we can just lock it into place. It's got a clamp here for whatever you're clamping onto, and here is where the access stuff comes in. So these controls move on these threads here, so you can accurately position it. This is great because normally with these sorts of adapters, you're just sort of pushing them in and tightening weird screws and things. These these big knobs actually make a huge difference. Uh, we've got one for up and down as well, so we can find the right back focal distance from the optical tube. I see there's two screws. One screw for that direction. There's the X and Y. And there's the Z. Okay, I want to try this out. I'm going to try a white light view of the sun, which is just with this little do-it-yourself solar filter I've made. Which of course is with some solar film. Make sure that you don't look directly at the sun with a regular telescope, or at least make sure you have the correct filter to do this. I'm going to try putting the next YZ on here, and we expect to see a white disc. You'll notice that the sun leaves a bit of glare over that view. So if you cover it over, you won't get any of that reflection. I can use the two times zoom on my phone. I can go to video if I want. Beautiful. So let's try something a bit more dramatic. And now for something completely different. XYZ hooked up to my nine and a quarter pointy gander Venus. Now this won't fit on the big Luminos eyepieces, which is what I normally use, the big Celestron Luminos two inch eyepieces. So I'm using another brand, but it's a universal. So as with all things astronomy, this is a mix match of all sorts of things, mostly Celestron though. <laughs> So the Celestron NexYZ is obviously a play on the Nexstar branding uh, and Nex is the X, Y and Z axis. But it's easy to just look at the word and think it's um, Nexies or something like that. But anyway, I've been playing with this thing for a few days now. Um, now when you're shooting with a smartphone, smartphones on the low end of the results that you can get out of a telescope, uh, I would rate it as probably smartphones, then your eyeballs, and then processed images with CMOS and CCD cameras. However, there are some benefits to using a smartphone if you are just out in the field and you just want to share an image with someone over chat or social media or something like that. I even live streamed 
some of the stuff that I was doing on my Instagram as I was using the, the next YZ. But I've been using it for a few days now and so I've got some tips. Now you will find that if you're shooting in the day you get a bit of a halo uh, around the image, uh, a vignetting kind of halo. Uh, you can avoid this by putting a cover around the camera and the eyepiece so that no light comes in and reflects off that glass. Another thing to uh, note is to try and get the camera as close as possible to the eyepiece. Uh, and that can mean taking the case off, uh, which is what I did for, for some of it, not all of it, but some of it I did take the case off just to get it down closer to the eyepiece. Uh, another tip to reduce that vignetting is to use a two-time zoom on your phone, or if your phone has a zoom feature. Uh, with the iPhone I was just using the two times. And I also found better results using the slow motion because I was getting a faster frame rate, uh, which then allowed sharper images or the possibility of stacking those images later. Um, are there some cons to the next YZ? Um, well, I mean, it is on the pricier end of these sorts of devices, but, you know, they're competing with stuff like this, the Orion Steadypix, and it's not that expensive, but it really is so bad I maybe used it once and then have to decide. The other con, I would say, is the inability to use them with the luminous eyepieces. Now, these things are huge and they're magnificent eyepieces. And if you're like me, a photographic astronomer, you don't really have a lot of eyepieces lying around. So uh, the only ones I get are good ones for when I've got friends around and I wanna show them things. The advantages or the pros of the next YZ, however, are simply that this seems to be the best universal smartphone adapter on the market. It has a really high build quality, which is obvious for all of the engineered stuff that we're seeing, like the CGX. It has a very similar design aesthetic, but it's also got a similar design principle behind it. And you can see that the design decisions have been made by people who actually use this stuff. The fact that your fingers are there ready on both the axis, the X and Y axis, to adjust those things makes it really intuitive. Uh, it's very, very easy to use. I still haven't looked at the instruction manual and I don't think I need to. It, uh, it works as advertised. And of course it's universal. It handles a wide variety of stuff. So telescopes, binoculars, microscopes, spotting scopes, anything you're digiscoping with, it's going to be useful for a wide variety of applications, not just astronomy, but birding and wildlife and whale watching and whatever else you use your optics for. So all in all, I'm very happy and I'm really grateful for Celestron for sending me one because I will use this. Unlike the competitors, I will actually use this. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Dylan O'Donnell and you've been watching Star Stuff.